Alright. Uh, guess what time it is. Time to play some H3VR. Yes, it's been quite a while since I've recorded. I have been pretty busy over the last couple of weeks. And, uh, yeah, that's why I haven't been playing many games. Any game, uh, in fact. So, um, yeah, just been incredibly busy. And, uh, this is why I'm doing this video now. Because, uh... I'll be completely honest with you, I'm going to have to do something tomorrow, and I think uh, that's when the next update comes out. I'm not sure if Anton's going to drop an update tomorrow, but um, I just wanted to check out the new stuff before um, things get fixed or whatever. So if there are any problems, I don't, I don't really know since uh, this update was supposed to be last week, but uh, I finally found enough time now to get into this. But uh, yeah, that's why. So I'm going to be busy over the uh, weekend and uh, might as well get you, uh, uh, check this out before it's uh, changed. So yeah, new update for H3 VR released like <laughs> a week ago. And um, let's get uh, onto it. So if I remember correctly from the patch notes, we got uh, two new guns. Well, one of them is new, but uh, we got a remake of the UMP-45 which uh, I can just get the, there we go. So it's got a new model and uh, can I grab this? There we go. And uh, I'm not too familiar with the old model, but uh, yeah, there you go, new stuff. So this is the 45, let me just grab this and ignore that other stuff there, don't worry about it. But let's just check this out. <clears throat> it's a little, uh, I don't know what's going on there. Let me check my options. I had this all set up, but uh, let's see. Floating. Uh, yeah, I might try direct. Oh, I have to reload the scene? Really? Oh, well, that's fine. I'll just do that for next time. All right, so UMP-45. Looks pretty cool. Let's lock this open. Grab our magazine, and uh, let's put it to uh, semi-auto. Drop the mag. Oh yeah, this one has a uh, bolt hold open, I guess. Cool. All right, two round burst, I think that's what that stands for. Cool. Grab this. Uh, touchpad up to uh, release the bolt. And then let's go full auto. Cool. There you go. The uh, new 45 model. Do the HK slap on that thing. Ooh, actually. Let me grab this. Hold on just a second. Let me just do one more mag. We got a little button here. That's the uh, bolt release. There we go. I think this is the 45. Yes, this is. Okay, good. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure. Cool. All right, so that's the 45, the uh, new one, the new model. And we have now a new weapon in that series, the UMP-9. At least I think that's what it's called. Yes, the UMP-9. Basically a 9mm version of the uh, UMP. Which was... I think this was done in response to some fan art. Some uh, Girls Frontline. I'm not really into the whole Girls Frontline thing. So somebody can... Uh, somebody can explain that somewhere else. But uh, yeah. So same controls. Got the semi-auto, two-round burst, full auto. Cool. Okay. Grab another mag. Put it to two-round burst. Let's uh, reset the target here.
Got the nice little uh, witness holes there. Or a little, uh, yeah, so you can see the bullets. Cool. And full auto. All right. Those are the two new guns. And uh, looking pretty fly. Let's put a uh, sight on this thing. A little holograph sight. One more magazine. <laughs> Pretty good. That's five meters though, which is not too impressive. But I just want to have fun, so let's reset the target here. All right, so the other part of the update, which uh, I'm going to have to try and uh, explain this as best as possible. But now we have some hand filtering which uh, defaults to on. I turn them off just to uh, feel things around, see what it feels like. But uh, yeah, got some, oops, let me just get rid of that. <clears throat> hand filtering. Uh, let's see, hand filtering smoothing. So this is for just regular moving around in menus and stuff, all due to the item spawner coming up, but. Hmm. Seems kind of okay to me. I'm trying to wave my hands around. Hi. I was I was trying to listen for any like creaks or whatever. My controllers are kind of getting old on me here, but uh, doesn't seem too bad. Uh, I need a pistol. Give me. Oh. Yeah, let's. Uh, let me just put on the controller geo here. Yeah, there's a little bit of a delay. Not much, but a little. Might throw some people off. I don't think it's too bad. Put it up. Eh, we'll try it out with a uh, hand filtering. Let's see. Where's my magazine? You know what? I want the UMP45. Give me that hollow sight. Also, I should turn off the hand models, but that's okay. <clears throat> All right. Got this. Put it in. We are going to do two round burst. Hmm. Let me just try. Uh, let me just try some uh, bringing the weapon up. Not too bad. Certainly need to get used to it. Weapon is down like this. Bring it up. There is a slight little like. Uh, if you move it around a bit, you can see it, but there is a slight little delay. If you move fast enough, it's not that it's not that noticeable, but uh, yeah, it's there. I mean, it's just one of the results of the filtering. I think Anton has said he might f tweak it a little bit now that he's got feedback, which is why I did this video, because I wanted to play around with this before he changed anything. But uh, it seems okay to me, not too bad, but again, I haven't really played uh, Taken Hold with this kind of uh, filtering yet, so that might be something. All right. Just gonna shoot that off. That there, you know what, let's throw that in the, oh no, <laughs> get out of here. Put that there, all right. So, now we get to the meat of the update. We get the sniping assist. Okay. Now I'm going to have to actually figure this because I've got the spectator cam on and I don't want to clip into the scope. So let's just uh, turn this off for a minute. Seems to be okay, right? You guys can see that? Also, I should turn off the controller geo. All right. Uh, okay. Where was I? I need to put this away. All right, so we've got the uh, sniping assist on and uh, we can enable it. Uh, before we do though, let's actually check out how it was before the sniping assist. Let's go the max distance, 400 meters. And uh, let's see if we can get a shot here. Let's reset the target. 
Get a new set. Okay, safety off. And uh, hopefully you can see this. Oh my goodness. This is good, right? Hopefully you guys can see this. If I move the scope any closer... Oh. Okay, good. That yeah, seems to work. Alright, so let's look down the scope and see if we can get to the target here. It's a little bit shaky. As you can see, this is with the filtering off. And it's a tough one. It's a tough shot right there. 400 meters standing without any uh, support. No bipod or anything. Whew. Oh, man. Okay. Check out the sheet over here. There we go. Put the sheet on. Let's see if we can get a shot out. I completely missed it. Okay. But that's with the filtering off. Let's turn the filtering on. Okay, filtering is now on. <clears throat> and uh, let's see how it looks with the filtering on. <sighs> okay. Oh, wow, that is really stable. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me just uh, get the... Uh, camera here so I can see. Oh yeah, that is very, very stable. Wait. I think I loaded a uh, round in there, so we're ready. Alright. Hmm. Did I not? Oh. Of course. I forgot to change the zero on the uh, scope here. Let me just get to 400 meters. Sorry about that. <laughs> I was shooting at 100 meter zero. Alright, I'll try that again. Yeah, well, I hit the corner. Whoops, that's the wall. I hit the corner of the uh, paper there. Let's try one more. <sighs> Need to relax. <sighs> breathe in, breathe out. Just relax. I'm trying to make a long-range shot here. Any sort of movement will just kind of ruin things. Oh, need to work on my aim here, my accuracy. Terrible. But I really do like the filtering. Mm. Still haven't hit the black yet. Oh, ah, I really need something with a uh, larger capacity magazine. <clears throat> Okay, breathe in, breathe out. Relax. Calm yourself. Just need to relax. Just relax. Just relax. Oh. Right at the, uh, what is that? The nine ring? Eight, seven, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I'm not gonna get a bullseye, I'll tell you that right now, but, uh, it's a lot more smoother than before. Mm, it's a little high. Trust your instincts. Hmm, not bad. On the eight ring. 
Oh, man. Sniping is uh, pretty hard standing up. But uh, maybe, you know what? Let's see if we can change scopes here. Let's not do uh, let's not do that one. That's the eight to thirty-two power. Let's go with attachment. Let's go with the extreme one here. It's in here somewhere. Twelve by sixty. Twelve uh, twelve to sixty. Hopefully this will be okay. Also got to change to zero here. Hold up. Four hundred meters. Hopefully this is okay. Wait, where's my target? I'm trying to look for it. Hmm, okay. Ah, no. Okay. Ooh. You know what I want to try to do, though? Let's see if I can do this. Uh, spawn a rail cam. And if I can put this in. And spawn object. Oops, that's backwards. Sorry about that. I'm just going to... Uh, nope, that's not quite. Hmm. Hold up, guys, just a second. Let me uh, let me customize this a little bit. Whoops! Controller's freaking out. Come on, stop freaking out here. Uh, let me grab ourselves a rail adapter. Rail axis shift. Hmm. Rail extender long, short. Let's see if I can do this. Oops. Let's grab this. Oops. Yeah, I think I might need a longer one. Let's see, long. I want to try something so you guys can see the craw. Uh, okay. That was weird. Hmm. Uh. Bond object. Nope, not quite. Hmm, how can I do this? If I open up the FOV and take out some of the smoothing. There we go. Oh no, doesn't work, huh? It's just a little too high. Oh man, that's just a little, I can move this up a bit. Nope, that doesn't work, ah, uh, well. Well, that's okay. Let's just throw that away for right now. Grab this again and get rid of all these attachments. I have two two shots, right? So let's see if we can get this. Oh wow. Nice. And the nine ring again. All right, last one. I should just put a new mag in there. <clears throat> okay. Sorry about that. I need to turn back all these settings back on. Ah, but you can see how that, uh, how that filtering helps the sniping assist. 
Yeah, it doesn't seem, again, it doesn't seem too bad for me. I could probably get used to it, but again, I haven't really tried it in actual combat, so I don't know how much the filtering will, will affect just like regular, regular fighting. I've seen some comments, some people uh, saying the filtering is a little too aggressive. Uh, again, like I said, I haven't fought any Sosigs with this thing on yet, so. But for sniping, seems pretty good. In fact, I wonder if I can do it one-handed. <laughs> that would be a trip, right? All right, hopefully the camera doesn't blow out here. But this is all one-handed. Oh wait, did I, uh... Ah, wasted a bullet, whatever. That's fine. Let's just do this one-handed. Hmm, not bad. Still made it to the uh, seven ring. Let's begin a new set here. And let's reset the target. One-handed. This filtering is uh, pretty good. Well, eight ring, nice. Can't quick bolt though, can't slide bolt. Where is the target? There it is, I see it. Oh man, I pulled the trigger right as I was going down. All right, we are out of ammo. Last round, let's make it count. Ooh, right there, right on the uh, nine. Not bad at all, that is pretty cool. So you can definitely whoop, shoot things one-handed. Uh, all right, well, I mean, that's those are the new updates. We can mess around with more of the filtering. In fact, I wanna try something. <clears throat> Let's grab ourselves a uh, pretty accurate a handgun. Something good enough. Let's see, uh, match 22? Should I do that? No, there's no uh, scope mount for there. Something with a scope mount. You know what, let's try a Desert Eagle. It's ultimate right here. Get rid of that. And we'll get a scope. Let's get, uh, let's see, grab this one. All right, this is going to be really tough. Let's begin a new set. As long as one of these bullets hits the, uh, hits the black center of the target, then we'll be okay. Whew. Okay. Oh wait, is this thing zeroed? Okay, good. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. I forgot. All right. Huh. Hmm. That, uh, that didn't quite hit. Hmm. Well, this is a pistol, so, I mean, reasonably, that's not gonna reach. Uh, you know what? Get ourselves a bullet trail here. Let's see how far this uh, round goes. All right, let's see where this round goes. Uh, it's traveling. It's traveling. Let's see where I'm hitting. I want to see. We got five seconds to get down there. <laughs> Can I make it down there before this thing disappears? Oh, come on! Where did it hit? Oh, oh, no, it's going, it's fading. Uh, 
it is, yeah, this is a little low, huh? Well, it didn't go all the way, so I don't know what's going on there. But, uh, yeah, I would have just uh, hit the bottom of that target. All right, you know what? Let me reload the scene, because I'm not running all the way back out there. Whew, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, there we go. Get the sheet out. Hmm. Yeah, at that distance, I don't think pistols would work. Let's, you know what? Let's try something. Let's spawn the 50 AE again. And, uh, let's make this reasonable. Instead of 400 meters, let's go 100. You think that'll work? That's far enough. I could probably, uh, yeah, I could probably hit that 100 meters with the new sniping assist filtering. 100 meters zero, okay. Uh, got everything. Oh, just want to make sure everything's still on. Yes, it is. Good. All right, this one, this one should be pretty easy. Just need to find the target. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> okay, yeah. All right, let's go. Um, let's go 150. 150 meters. Oh, I sh you know what? I should turn off the uh, bullet trails. No. Turn it off. Just drop that over there. Whatever. <clears throat> Begin new set. Reset the target. Okay. <clears throat> 150 meters. Let me just zero the sight. Okay. Hmm, all right, pretty good. Not completely bullseye, but uh, works. It's on the A ring. All right, let's go 200 meters. Set the target. Begin a new set. All right, I think that's uh, made it all the way over there. Let me just check. Where is this thing? There it is, 200 meters. Ooh, went down a bit. Oh, of course, I forgot. I forgot to zero the sight. All right, let me do another set here. Reset the target. Zero to 200, right? Yeah, 200. Okay. It was a little lower than I expected. Hmm. Yeah, at this distance, about 200 meters, we start running into the, um, whatchamacallit, the mechanical accuracy thing that uh, kind of plagues weapons at a distance. Oh, and I need to aim a little higher. Yeah, see? Uh, I don't know if you guys saw that, but I was aiming, like, right above the, uh, target. Yeah. So, we might need to adjust the uh, elevation at this point. We're getting to that territory. So, uh, yeah. About 150 meters, like, realistically. That'd be cool if, like, just a little side thing, that'd be cool that when we change the magnification, the ring would move, right? But that's okay. Whatever. That's fine. It's still cool. All right. 200. I actually want to try something. 250 meters. Let me see if I can do this. Uh, reset the target. 
begin a new set. Let's try this. Hmm, a little high that time. Hmm. Yeah, we, we probably have to adjust the uh, minute of angle on the elevation there. But yeah, all that, he could do that with a sniping uh, assist, which is pretty nice. Uh, one more time, we just uh, try it without the sniping assist. Have the hand filtering on. But uh, let's set this back to 150. I can get a consistent... Uh, shot at that at that distance <clears throat> all right without the uh sniping assist on oh that is a lot more shakier well uh, you can see hopefully you can see that oh yep hey at least i hit the paper but uh, <laughs> it was nowhere near the center uh, we'll turn on the sniping assist again. Oh yeah, a lot more smoother. Hmm. A little low. Hmm, yeah, I need to aim a little higher. Get near the center. Oh no, I thought I was out of ammo. That's my target. There we go. I was aiming like right, uh, right above here with the crosshair so that it was just a little, yeah. But that's a sniping assist. And it is pretty cool. Whoa. <laughs> Hold on, just a second. I have some magazines here that I need to use. Well, five meters. I hit a watermelon somewhere. It's always fun dual wielding uh, double desert eagles. The recoil is just insane, but it's always fun. Cool. Well, that's um, that's as far as the update is uh, concerned. Just a new sniping, f uh, filtering, uh, hand filtering. And the uh, two new UMPs, uh, one of them is new at least. But uh, yeah, I think that's about it for today. I feel like I want to get into Taken Hold, but at the same time, I've got something else to do. So I don't know how long I have left. Let me just check how many minutes I've been in. 30 minutes? Yeah, I don't think I have enough time. I have to go somewhere in like 20 minutes. So I know Taken Hold matches probably a lot last about like what uh, an hour so i don't think i have enough time to play today but uh yeah hopefully um i can get done with whatever i have tomorrow uh for one i hope there's an update if there's not then that's okay because like i said i'm pretty busy but uh wait hold on But uh, I think there might be an update. I'm not sure. Uh, Anton might do something to... Might show us something. Uh, again, I don't know. I am not the man himself. I can't really tell you whether something's coming or not. 
But if there is an update, then I hope to finish all my stuff uh, for tomorrow and get back home and play the new update. But uh, yeah, so like I said, I've got stuff to do. I don't know why I'm sitting down here. But that's about it for today, and I will see you guys next time.